So now let us look into converting data into key value pairs. The primary reason why we need to convert into key value pairs is because we have to join multiple data sets downstream for our problem statement. If you recollect our problem statement, we need to get daily revenue per product. And if you go to the data model, the revenue is represented in, uh, in the form of order items subtotal in order items. And the date, because we need to compute daily revenue, so we have to hold the date as key along with the product ID. Date is available in orders, and product ID is available in order items. And if we have to get daily revenue per product, we need to uh, get order date, order product, order item product ID, and order item subtotal together. And to bring these two things together, we have to join orders and order items. And the relationship between orders and order items is based on the order ID, which is the primary key in orders, and order item order ID, which is the second element in order items, which is foreign key to orders. Okay. As we have to join, if you go back, if you go to the documentation and see the syntax for the join, our data to be joined has to be represented in the form of key value pairs or key value tuples. Okay. And both the data sets have to be in the form of key value pairs. Now, if we compare um, our uh, original data set by reading uh, uh, orders and uh, uh, if we preview the data, okay. You can see that uh, the orders RDD have the elements um, as string or Unicode string, and each element have the data comma separated in the form of string. Okay, and uh, we have to convert into the key value pair. What is the key here? Order ID should be the key because we have to join orders with order items based on order ID. And the value will be whatever fields we want to fetch, and in this case, we need only order date. Okay, and also as, as per our problem statement, we need to get only the completed orders. And we already written the code with accumulators and all as part of the earlier set, uh, topics. So I'm just copy pasting that code and get the filtered data. And let me preview the uh, filtered orders also. You can see here. Orders filtered, you can see order state in each of them is either close or complete because the filter logic took care of it. Now we need to convert this into key value pair. And which API we should use? Whenever there is a RDD, and if you have to transform each and every element in the RDD to another format for each input record, you have to apply some transformation rule and you have to get um, a transformed record. In that scenario, you have to use map function. Okay, so let me develop the code here. Converting to key value pairs for orders and order items. Okay, so I'm creating the RDD with name orders map and on orders filtered. I want to uh, invoke the map function, which takes uh, lambda function as the uh, argument or parameter. And this map will be invoked once for each and every record. So there are 30,455 in orders filtered, uh, elements in orders filtered, and this map function will be invoked 30,455 times. And each time, uh, a string which is comma separated will be passed to it, and we need to convert into a tuple. Tuple is typically represented in circular brackets, and then we have to split each and every record using comma as a delimiter. And the first element is already, so I'm using zero here. And the original data type of this is of type int, so we have to convert this into integer for two reasons. One is performance. Joining two datasets uh, as integers is better in performance. 
compared to joining them uh, uh, joining them uh, in the form of a string and also sometimes if you try to sort the data sorting to uh, comparing two values um, as numbers is different from comparing two values as strings for example if you try to compare 9 and 12 as numbers 12 is greater than 9 but if you try to compare 9 and 12 as strings 9 is greater than 12 so there could be functional issues also if you do not typecast to to uh, typecast the data to its original format hence as part of this math function itself i'm typecasting uh, order id to integer and now i have to split the record again and get the order date by using uh, one so the second element in in our record is nothing but order date now let me copy paste this one and hit enter and then orders map dot first will give us the first record you can see here we got the order id which is of type numeric and then order date which is of type string you can also compare the count orders dot count gives us 68883 records orders filtered which is the outcome of uh, invocation of filter api if i perform count on it we got 30455 orders map is nothing but rdd of key value pairs and if i do count on it it gives 30455 so whenever you apply map the number of elements in in the uh, input rdd and the number of in elements in the output rdd will remain same now i have to create key value pairs per order items okay and uh, that order items has to be read first okay and i'm creating it as order items and the path in hdfs is this one order underscore items public retail db order underscore items and then order items map equal to order items dot map lambda order item okay and then uh, uh, we have to get the tuple and the first element in the tuple is nothing but key value pair uh, sorry is nothing but order item order id and that we can actually get like this order item dot split by comma and zero sorry it's one the second element in order items is order item uh, order id which is the foreign key to order items uh, foreign key to orders so that will be the key on which we will be joining the data and the value we need to get two fields here so either we can actually uh, get the two fields in the form of a string comma separated string or we can get it in the form of tuple i'm using uh, a tuple because i can access elements easily if the elements uh, uh, if the values are represented as tuples okay so here the key is order id which is of type integer and the value is of type tuple and that tuple will have um, all the necessary elements which i need from order items which are nothing but order item product id and order item subtotal and if we go back to the data model order item product id is the third element and order item subtotal is the fifth element okay and also the data types are int and float so here i have to say int of order item dot split comma two and then float of order item dot split four okay because uh, the subscript starts with zero one will give the second element two will give the third element and four will give the fifth element and now if i want to line break i can do it uh, if it is too much uh, here i just have to indent the code okay so this uh, this code belongs to this lambda function this line of code belongs to this lambda function okay now i can copy paste this one we read the order items and we try to convert into key value pairs okay now we can say order items map dot first and we can see the data the first element in the tuple 
is nothing but uh, order item order id and then second element is the tuple okay and uh, in that nested tuple the first element is order item product id and the second element is order item subtotal and we will be using these two orders map and order items map to join um, based on the key and that we will see it in later part of uh, uh, later topics